What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Binance Coin, as well as the S&P 500. As you guys know, we are still doing our Crypto Coin Display giveaway, as you can see right here. All you have to do to win one of these is comment your favorite cryptocurrency down below in the comment section, as well as comment subscribed, as I will be checking. And if you're not subscribed, you will not win one of these display giveaways. Also, drawing will be this Sunday, so stay tuned for then. More importantly, what we're going to be looking at in today's video is recent movements that have been quite shocking if you ask me within some of these altcoins and cryptos you can see for example ethereum has actually managed to breach through its top resistance uh just starting this morning which is absolutely incredible the fact that we're actually breaching through the top resistance levels as well as the top downtrend this is a big sign to be buying in long anticipating a big run to the upside it's not only ethereum we have some of these other cryptocurrencies starting to see very interesting retests but if ethereum is the first one to break out there's a very good chance that binance and ethereum and, and and xrp or sorry binance and bitcoin and xrp should be able to follow suit and start to head up as well so i'm getting very excited to see how these coins are going to play out in the in the very very near future so if you guys are curious about what exactly is going on when to be buying in when to sell short the update that we have definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications smash the like button for the youtube algorithm and let's jump into today's episode So as you guys know, we are so close to hitting 50,000 subscribers. We're currently at 49.6K, less than 400 subs away from hitting 50K. And I plan on doing a giveaway for the 50K subs. Now, what's crazy, and I thought you guys would like this a lot, is as you guys know, I give away one of these uh, crypto coin displays every single week. But the company just created a new crypto coin display. This is the XRP crypto coin display ticker display which is a $130 coin ticker not only am I going to be ordering one of these to put in my videos but once we hit 50k by you guys subscribing we'll, we'll be doing another drawing to see who's going to be the lucky winner that I will be sending one of these out for free to them just by making sure they're subscribed to the channel so get very excited definitely make sure to subscribe I'm very excited to give one of these away and actually get mine in to see how exactly it works and just how it looks so let's stay tuned for that more importantly what we're going to be jumping into today's video very interesting movements top 10 cryptocurrencies all seem to be doing uh very interesting movements obviously ethereum is the one crypto that's blowing up about eight percent we have all the other cryptocurrencies like uh, uh bitcoin up 0.29 cardano's only up two percent xrp's up 0.9 really nothing is moving except for solana and polka dot which is it's incredible solana is actually exploding it's almost like we should be looking at this over binance coin which we might have to actually make the switch but these other crypto cryptocurrencies falling a little stagnant we're only up about three percent overall in the market but these other cryptocurrencies are really showing big signs more importantly diving into these markets there's a few things we have to talk about obviously within xrp we're still retesting that top resistance and correcting lower it's very interesting the way these markets are playing out and i have an article actually that i want to talk about on coinbase uh sorry coin telegraph here which mentions the fact that betting on bitcoin bull run not in september bitcoin price that it says i found this quite interesting as we've been basically Basically talking about the fact that Bitcoin, if breaching through its bottom support here, you can see this uptrend that it would probably go from B to C. And if you guys haven't realized, B to C is literally all of September. I find that quite ironic. And then seeing this article last night, I found this very interesting and I thought I'd put it out and just let you guys understand what exactly they're referring to. It's saying that next month is a classic underperformer for Bitcoin USD. And judging by the current price action, 2021 is no exception. So very ironic. They pulled up this chart basically showing you guys that every year so far how exactly the prices have been performing and then when you go to september currently you can see the first 2013 were down 1.7 2014 down 19 2015 only up two 2016 were up six percent 2017 were down seven down five down 13 down seven there's a good chance we'll be down as well in september for 2021 I just found that ironic. And then obviously October has really 
good gains. It's actually all of October, November, and December see really positive gains moving forward. But it's just for right now that we're not seeing necessarily the biggest volume injection for prices to spike upwards. And you can see for the most part, we're not necessarily trending that well either. So I found it quite ironic that there's actually articles pumping out the fact that September isn't necessarily a good month for cryptocurrency and for Bitcoin. And then when we basing judgment on the fact that we're in some sort of Elliott wave formation and we're looking for a B2C confirmation, that would ultimately allow us to correct lower. But now that we have a little bit of tricky things going on with this Ethereum chart right here, I do want to talk about that. Obviously, with Ethereum exploding through its resistances at a quite violent rate, I'm actually very surprised. That's pretty much, this is what we've been looking for and preparing for in case the other cryptocurrencies do decide to blast off and break out of their resistance levels. You can see we have a downtrend, we have a clear price ceiling, we've had an uptrend, and we had our Elliott wave drawn on. So we've been discussing that we're looking more so for a A to B to C to D to E confirmation and currently completing the A to B. We're looking now for B to C, which is a correction and a you know, move to the downside. Interesting thing is we've been breaching or trying to breach through this top resistance, this price ceiling here for quite some time now, falling bearish every time. We've had this uptrend that we've been using, which is ironic because we've had a lot of uncertainty here and we've finally actually been able to break through that. I was not anticipating that. I also wasn't anticipating any of the cryptocurrencies to see this. So let's see what happens in the future. And I'm going to talk about XRP in a second. The odd thing is the fact that we broke through this has some interesting indications. So really what I'm looking looking for now is this, how exactly are we going to close above here? Are we going to actually see the daily today close us above this top resistance here? Because that's really the sign that we've been looking for. If for whatever reason we can see Ethereum close currently where it is, $3,400, $3,500, we're breaching above not only the downtrend and we're breaching above the price ceiling. It's confirming that there is still bullish life left in Ethereum and it will actually allow us to head up higher and higher. And this will be an easy buy-in confirmation anticipating rallies to the upside, which would be going against everything that that article just said. Obviously, it's very possible we could have a different year in 2021 for September for these cryptocurrencies. But if we see the breach above here and we see this close today above this resistance level, I would buy in anticipating a leverage to the upside, obviously creating a stop loss closer to that uh, price floor now, which would be closer to 3300 bucks. but I'd be buying in long. Now, obviously, we got to see how this, you know, implies to these other cryptocurrencies because XRP still does not look extremely bullish in any sense. Obviously, if we see these other cryptos rallying, it's going to send volume into XRP as well. But the fact is there's still a downtrend. We're still, we still have the Elliott wave. We still have, you know, resistances that are all pretty much indicating that there is still resistance very similar to all these other cryptocurrencies clearly there's a price ceiling and if we don't break through here and we start correcting lower and we actually close and i said it very specifically if we close the uh price anywhere below this uptrend here it's basically going to confirm reversal back down from point b to point c which is fine but basically saying that september will be a bearish scenario so we're looking to see how we play out with this uptrend here basically how does the uptrend play out how does this resistance it's a very important level for crypto right now obviously seeing how we play out so that's pretty much what we're looking at it's the consolidation we've been waiting for ethereum basically giving us a signal much quicker than these other cryptocurrencies have which is surprising to me i was not expecting this at all but if it implies that these other cryptos are going to see that move then we'll be buying in soon for all of them as well it's really just don't buy in just yet let's wait for the confirmation let's see are we going to close above this top resistance or are we going to close above uh, below this bottom support. That's pretty much what we're waiting for. If we decide to close below the support, we'll buy in for a short. If we close above this resistance, we'll buy in for a long. It's literally that simple. It's just waiting for the consolidation to happen. If you want to enter an early trade and we see Ethereum close above this resistance here, then we'll enter Ethereum first and wait for these other cryptocurrencies to give us the sign that we've all been patiently waiting for. Otherwise, looking at Bitcoin right now, it's the same implication. Obviously, it can go one of two ways. We're going to breach lower or we're going to break upwards. We can clearly draw the horizontal lines that keep disappearing every single time on my charts. It is what it is is but we have price ceilings we have price floors and there's one more at 40k right about here okay great so you can kind of see what we're dealing with right now so obviously once again if prices for bitcoin can break through 50k and we can close the daily above 50k we know to buy in long anticipating a rally to the upside we close below it as we're starting to see right now 
there's a very big chance we're going to short this back down, anticipating a rally all the way or a drop, a loss of volume all the way back down to about point C, which is at 35K. Uh, we're ultimately right now, we did pretty much close below the support here, uh, which is, you know, a sign implying that we're going to crack lower. But I'm going to give it another day because I want to see if Ethereum affects any of the other cryptocurrencies as it is with its own crypto. So if we decide to close above here and we see Bitcoin gain some volume right now and swing us above the 50K resistance, then I'd probably buy into some more cryptocurrencies. But I'm just waiting for the confirmation because XRP is way off. Ethereum looks great. Bitcoin looks okay, not necessarily in a good position, but better than XRP. And Binance is not in a good position at all as well. There is an uptrend here, very small one at that, but it still does not look that good. There still is this uptrend. We're kind of bouncing off of here, but there might be a day or two left for it to consolidate back up. Same thing with XRP to retest those top resistances. It's pretty much hit or miss, but it's very exciting to see that Ethereum actually broke through its top resistance. Otherwise, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, guys. Definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notification. If you want to win this, definitely make sure to comment below your favorite crypto. And um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.